it's two and a half years before the shuttle returns to space. Eileen Collins is the commander of Discovery for STS-114. This is Shuttle Launch Control, where we see the STS-114 astronauts. We lost seven of our dear friends. Terrible tragedy that's very hard for me to, to go back and relive. Some people said, we don't want to risk astronauts' lives anymore. We need to stop doing this. The astronauts don't feel that way. On behalf of the many millions of people who believe so deeply in what we do, good luck, Godspeed, and have a little fun up there. We fly for our country. We fly for humanity. We fly for exploration. We fly for a variety of reasons. And we don't stop flying because we have accidents. Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The Columbia disaster adds a new procedure to the shuttle flight plan. Discovery flips 360 degrees, allowing the crew in the space station to inspect for damaged tiles. I did think about the Columbia crew every single day. We flew their crew picture on our flight deck during the mission. With the shuttle flying again, the space station can fulfill its original promise, a city in space. I'm really, really excited about our completing the International Space Station because it's a fabulous place. And it is a huge stepping stone to going back to the moon for a long duration and then on to Mars. We have learned so much about our space environment by, by flying the shuttle and now it's time to go farther. But those are journeys for the future. When we left Earth, it changed our world. It's a legacy of small steps and great adventure. From the first attempts to send rockets beyond the bounds of Earth's atmosphere, to the selection of the first astronauts. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the nation's Mercury astronauts. I think now I really see how complex their job really was and how brave they were. Either that or they were crazy. Project Mercury proves astronauts can survive riding a rocket into the vacuum of space. But those small steps are only the beginning. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In Project Gemini, each mission tackles another critical procedure from the Apollo flight plan. Astronauts learn how to fly to the moon. By the time we finished Gemini program, we had a solid foundation of technology now to take the step, go to the moon. T minus three hours, four minutes, 32 seconds and counting. To get there, three men ride a rocket the size of a skyscraper. It's the most powerful machine ever built. It had on board around five million pounds of high explosives. We just hoped it wouldn't blow up. Okay, guys, it's now time to get down to business. We're about ready to land a uh, man on the moon. The descent was very tricky business. We copy it down, Eagle. Boosted and, uh, base here. The Eagle has landed. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Oh, spectacular. Just spectacular. Just 12 astronauts walk on the surface of the moon. This is going to be a good day, Charlie. And here we go. From the dawn of the space age, pioneers on rockets explore new frontiers and fulfill the age-old dream of traveling to other worlds. Curiosity is the essence 
of human existence. It brings about innovation, imagination. It stimulates the entire society. Roger roll, Discovery. It's something almost inherent in us, I believe, to explore, and that's what the space program is about. Our space was to raise our aspirations to those things that are possible if we will commit. The most important thing that we have to pass on to our younger people is that the word impossible doesn't exist. Given the desire to do it, humans can accomplish almost anything. We have to continue to move forward. To stop in space is to surrender.